What's going on guys, it's your boy Adoptionism here, hitting you guys with video number 6 of our Dragon Age Inquisition skill builds. This is going to be about the Alchemist, and in my opinion, uh, it's probably not going to be that long of a video. Uh, I honestly don't really like the Alchemist, because I, I was really excited for these elemental mines, and I thought they were going to be really awesome, really fun. I know the Trapper has them, but it fucks, or the Hunter has them, but it fucks up that build, so I don't use them. Uh, and I, I'm not going to lie, like seeing that whole tree, it's really not that great. But what I'm going to suggest is uh, you just treat it like an assassin. You want to go stealth, uh, flank attack, and then twin fangs in that order of, uh, um, of your rotation. You just go into stealth, run up, make sure you have the skirmisher upgrade on it. And uh, yeah, make sure you have bloodied prey as well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, make sure you have the skirmisher upgrade so that way when you come out, stab them like that. It's like da da da! Or like bam bam! Or what, what the fuck ever. It's only two hits. It's 400% weapon damage. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then you go back into stealth. And then what you do is make sure you have this upgrade. So that way you do 400% uh, weapon damage. Uh, and then bonus damage is ends up bringing up to 600%. And then you have that. That's 700% weapon damage. So that's a pretty nice uh, bump. And actually, if they're incapacitated, that would actually be really good really good um thing but I don't know who cares yeah you do that for damage or whatnot and you go ahead and leave that uh, I mean I, I really like shadow strike but you know it's kinda whatever uh, but if you can definitely go down and get a uh, I was never here so that way you could get that uh, r cooldown removed off of your stealth even though I believe stealth is stealth no okay yeah stealth is 24 seconds I kept thinking for some reason that it was uh, eight seconds. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So we hit. Then what you can also do is because you're gonna only have stealth, flank attack, and twin fangs in your rotation. So that means that leaves one more open one. And instead of elemental mines, actually looking these over, I would say uh, have a toxic cloud. So that way, if you're doing doorway trapping, uh, you, and you have like fighting dirty, and you have explosive toxin, that's a lot of dot going on just in time for. Uh, you to, to like stab shit or whatever and you get your cooldown going and what's cool is uh, you regain mana with every kill so that's really cool that you could uh, regen your stamina like that uh, I, I don't think there's really any passives any status effects caused by your alchemy now last longer now al that's where those have to do with like flask of frost knockout bomb and flask of fire it actually, yeah, I don't believe it has anything to do with these ones. So, um, yeah, let's just say uh, we go ahead and we go down the tree. So we hit level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 7 right there. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then if you want... You hit 17, 18, I guess. Uh, oh, wait, no, my bad. 18. This would be 18. Fuck that one. We go 17, 18, down to that passive. And I guess that's actually really cool, too. It's easy to miss so that way. Because some of you guys don't notice, but uh, if you get close enough to something, like if you're trying to flank it or whatever, they'll, like, just like how when a, an assassin tries to run up on you and you could, you're able to target, you get the white reticle on them right when they get too close, uh, this would actually completely remove that, so that way they wouldn't actually hit you and knock you out of stealth. So that's actually really good. So that would probably be, uh, what, that would be skill 19, or level 19. And, I mean, we would need another passive. Yeah, because we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So level 20. Uh, use uh, level 20. Mm. I don't know, level 20, do whatever the fuck you want, but it, it should definitely be a passive. Yeah, it would definitely have to be a passive for you to do that. Hmm. Hmm. I 
I guess this one would be good. Uh, yeah, disable uh, critical hits, uh, reduce their damage, so that way when you come out of uh, in any of your moves, if it so happens to be a big guy and they're still alive, more than likely by the time you get your rotation off, it's one of them is going to be a critical hit, so that way when they turn around to hit you, they do less damage to you. So, because you know, <laughs> alchemists and assassins are pretty squishy. <laughs> But, um, yeah, guys, that's my opinion on the Alchemist. Again, I, I kind of hate it. It's You have to play like it's an assassin role. You can't really do much variation to it. But, um, yeah, poison, and then you get that um, stealth flank attack, twin fang rotation. You should be fine. Yeah, guys, I hope this helps you guys out and you guys like it. Um, please uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. Link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Jay's stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. And, of course, uh, don't forget to stop by 7controllers.com. Uh, recent sponsor pickup. Uh, use discount code ADOPT on your checkout to get 5% off your entire purchase, which some of you guys may like would probably agree that 5% off of anything is really good because you can end up actually using that like towards food or towards something else uh it, and again it would really show you guys support for me so i love you guys please don't forget again this has been your boy adopt peace out